Welcome. It's time. It's time to do it. Mass Effect spoiler cast. Alex. Yeah. The legendary edition is out. We've played it. We've yes, finished it. Is. There's usually a rigmarole I do. I just want to talk Mass Effect for Let's talk Mass about Effect an hour. Here. So I want to get straight into it. Alex. Hmm. Mass Effect starts. Launches originally 2006? 2007 probably. 2007 I believe. When did you play Mass Effect? Timestamps below if you want to skip to just the spoiler game. But I want to get Alex's history. So he has context how he's played. I've... Oh, God. The first time I played Mass Effect 1... I made you play it. I'm pretty sure. Was... Oof. 2010? 2011? Maybe? Maybe? Possibly? I think so. Yeah, I think it's around 2010. Because the, uh, the game was... In 2007, so I think yes, yeah, it was it's 2007. I want to say I want to tell the achievers right now so they can be as upset as I am. I put Mass mm -hmm. Effect release date literally just that in Wikipedia, and it says 2015 because it means Andromeda. Mm -hmm. If I say Mass Effect release date, I mean the first one clearly. If I wanted Andromeda, I'd add it. <laughs> Ugh, Google, this is actually Bing. <laughs> Bing, goddamn, look you. at you now. You've, I played it when it launched. My father mm -hmm. was playing it at the time. <clears throat> 2007, I was like, what? Or something like that? I don't know. But I played it. I loved it. I loved it from kind of the get-go. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll get into, like, I, I, it really, the, when, it, when it clicked for me was, and I told you this, Alex, um, first off, realizing the choices mattered, which was, I didn't understand. As mm -hmm. a, it, it, you know, you don't really understand what that actually means. Until you play the game, and then you play it, and you realize, like, oh my god, like this actually matters. And it really mm -hmm. didn't feel like it mattered to Vermeer. Vermeer is when, to me, the game like turns into Mass Effect with, with the Rex specifically. Because mm -hmm. I think I think when I originally played it, I think he died. Mm -hmm. I don't remember because I didn't, you know, I didn't even know really understand the whole Paragon system. Again, I was probably thirteen, so barely. Yeah. Aired, do you? I mean, I noticed it by blue looks good and red for Renegade. It was yeah. like bad. <laughs> yeah. And I, I originally played it first through and, you know, messed it up and all that stuff. And then the second time I played through, I finally understood the mechanics. So I actually, you know, got Rex alive, all these things. This, this game has a special play this morning. And one of my favorite actually scenes in a video game is the first time Mass Effect, uh, sorry, first time Commander Shepard interacts with Sovereign. That is my f one of my favorite exchanges mm -hmm. between anything ever in a video game. I oh, love yeah. it. I love how they react off each other. I love how dire it is. Uh, it, mm -hmm. it's, that monologue. Mm -hmm. The monologue is made. I mean, we are a nation. Oh, so fun. Uh, anyways, we got a little bit of history from you. You you played it the first one roughly around the time it came out. I remember I had it, it and, I th and I had you try it. This yeah, because I had told you I have never played a Mass Effect game. And you also said you didn't like RPGs. And this is the yeah. first game I showed you. Yeah. Like, oh, no, to they're fair, good, dude. You yeah, try back this. then, all I played was Call of Duty. Yeah, I would say Call of Duty, Guitar Hero, and... Mm -hmm. Skate. Skate. That's the yep. That yep. Was the Those three. three. And then I got you to get play Mass Effect. You fell. Yep. So, I want to I wanna get this spoiler cast, Alex. Is there a specific part you want to start on? Let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. Yeah, man. What is your normal... Shepherd, I want you to tell me your shepherd. Okay. Are you male or femme? Uh, male. Male. Okay. Yes. So am I. So yes. male. Are, are you? Do you create one? Is this? Is yes. this a? You do create one. Okay. Yeah. So, so you created one for this specific playthrough. Do you do that all the time? So, so when I first played the game, I used to only do shepherd as the default. You know. Me too. John. I think his name is John. Shepherd. His name is John the, Shepherd. The, yeah. But um, I was always be like, oh, Mass Effect is, you know, it's, you know, Shepard's story, yeah. you know, it's so I should play his. But then I, after a while, I'm like, you know, I want to make him me. Mm -hmm. So then as, as, after a while, I started recreating, I made it, I made him, him mm -hmm. as myself. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> I eventually started mirroring, like, I kind of want him to look like me, but like in the future. And mm -hmm. then eventually as a girl, I was like, I want him to be like my lineage in like a hundred-ish years. No, it's. I think this game. I mean, technically, this game is twenty one 
six seventy twenty one i think seventy two i think it's twenty one i think it's twenty one seventy twenty one seventy five something like that yeah so i mean this is like a hundred and fifty mm-hmm. years away from date as so it's a long time um which is crazy to think one hundred fifty years that's super mm-hmm. long which is uh, some, something else entirely but alex i i did my journey was similar i played uh, first off i played through one two with just regular default shepherd it's not till recently i would say around around because i would actually i know this game sorry i, I should have prefaced this beforehand but mm-hmm. my quick history is i've been playing this game almost every year since release almost roughly i would say if i had to average it'd be every other year. 2183 thank way. you yeah, mm-hmm. and i know this game like through and through so when i first did him one through two i mm. did default and i made him custom after a while I, I just went straight custom i wanted to make him kind of like me in some sort mm-hmm. of so did that did the uh, full and playthrough my original custom kind of just looks like the, the default it doesn't have a great character system that's yeah. always been a problem in mass effect mm-hmm. uh, i know you brought up the beard issue Beard issue? <laughs> why? Why can't I mean? I I I know. I think they did it because it's a whole maybe because this whole military thing. You know, you can't really supposed to have a beard. In yeah, the military, you are technically so you got supposed stubble. to. But it, come on, I mean, who cares? Me have a beard. Who cares? And also, yeah. he's in the N seven program. You're kind of allowed to do whatever you want yeah. at that point, right? Yeah, yeah. The N seven program is like you're like it's like you're like a spec ops. Like yeah, you remember the like the, the highest uh, Chris Kyle, the American sniper dude. Yeah, you're one yeah, of like those he, motherfuckers. Yeah, he's one of those. Um, what did, what was your background? Um, I did Earthborn, and I would either do a War Hero or a Soul Survivor. So I always, for whatever reason, I don't know why, I mm. always my canon playthrough, meaning like my main playthrough I envision, is for whatever reason mm-hmm. always um, Soul Survivor and uh, uh, why am I blinking on the name? For the first, uh, the, the colonist. Kids. Oh, good, thank you, colonist. It was always colonist, soul survivor, because mm-hmm. I just like the whole instance of Mindwar, and then you go and you find the Thrushamon thing. The war hero thing is mm-hmm. a little more interesting. Usually, it was colonist war hero back in the day, but I eventually wanted to try soul survivor, and I kind of like yeah. the whole back and forth tombs later in the game, uh, and things. But so you did, um, Earthborn. Yeah. I love that. Now, I don't know if you know this. There is a background, uh, I, I guess I'll call amplifier to these mm-hmm. choices. So it essentially goes spacer, uh, colonist, earthborn. <clears throat> and you get a bonus for whatever you pick. So it goes paragon, neutral, renegade. So picking your earthborn, you actually got a renegade boost, which is... Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. And then you, the second one also kind of works that way. Oh. Paragon, neutral, renegade boost. And then, so you get a boost to either one. I think yeah. the neutral one, I think, gives you like two percent, where both gives you like five percent. I think I can see why because Earthborn, you know, it says you start off in you the start streets, off in gangs, in gangs like in the streets. So you know, you're like a little bad boy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. I kind of like it, honestly. Yeah. Because you event, did you ever get that mission where you meet your old gang member? Yes. Yeah. How yeah, was yeah. that? I don't remember completely it's, how that goes. What do you, so, What does he ask you to do again? So I, you'd walk out of a uh, chorus den, mm-hmm. and he'd be like Shepherd, and he'd be like sitting on the wall, mm-hmm. and I'm like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> and, then, and then he was like, oh, um, you don't remember me, do you? Because he starts to talk, like giving you characteristics of, uh, I was like, oh, you know, how almighty guy, hero, you know, he's talking, yeah. talking, char- giving you characteristics about yourself. I'm like, yeah. okay, and then he's like, oh, you don't remember me, do you? And uh, et cetera, et cetera. And he started talking about that, you know, they used to run together and mm-hmm. he he needs to, he needs this uh, thing to get done, I guess, muggle things. And you can either go the good way as in, or the good way as in, I'm not doing this for you. Mm-hmm. Or uh, you can go bad and be like, yeah, I'll do it. You mm-hmm. know, you go way back or something. I did not, <laughs> I did not do it. So, oh, so like, you just no told him to kick rocks. Pretty much. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm I'm in an alliance, so mm-hmm. I'm not going back. I've made <laughs> a name. To, like to me, I was like, leave it wherever I came from. I have made a name for myself. I don't want to ruin that image. Right. I <laughs> am, with the Soul Survivor. My one of my favorite parts in the all of Mass Effect One is it's super simple, but it only happens when you're a colonist. 
mm-hmm. it actually sorry it it's sorry it it doesn't only happen when you're a colonist it only happens if you pick colonist and you uh, do the mission that way but it still mm-hmm. happens if you're not a colonist it's when you go to the citadel and i think you have to have finished either one of the main missions so pharos novera or gravliar i'm pretty sure mm-hmm. And then they tell you, like, hey, this lady, like, it's kind of crazy. She was in the same col- uh, colony you were as a kid. She got mm-hmm. kidnapped. She's lost it. She's been, she, we found her, like, a week ago. And she still was a slave. So she's been enslaved for, like, five years or something like that. Crazy number. I don't remember. But is you find that, her and she's like, is it weird that years don't make, don't mean nothing in this game? What do you mean? Like, anytime I'm like, oh, yeah, it, you know, it's been this long. Mm-hmm. It, or, like, you feel like, like even ten years is a lot, but they're over here talking about it like, oh yeah, it's been like you know two hundred years for me. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, two hundred. Yeah, because it's, you get the <clears throat> juxtaposition of two hundred means the human is dead, Salarian's dead, mm-hmm. Turian's dead. Sorry's Krogan, they're fine. Two hundred yeah. years, that's nothing. That's I mean, that's essentially their puberty. So mm-hmm. there ain't nothing to them. But uh, I just love that interaction where you get to basically dissect like the chick you get to like kind of calm her down tell her it's gonna be okay or you can go renegade and like i guess Mm -hmm. gas her up i've never done the renegade option for that interesting but it's really cool i love that you you both have this similar like hey i was there too Mm -hmm. you know it's it's gonna be okay we're gonna like fix you and you eventually like walk her down if you have a high enough paragon and a charm Mm -hmm. what class did you pick vanguard that is also my uh canon choice mm-hmm. uh, same for you so, so you i always i always used to pick soldier yes i remember and that. then after two once after beat one i always pick vanguard for two and three don't know why don't know <laughs> why i won i just don't go all the way through for some reason i always just like picking soldier mm-hmm. in one because i get to use the assault rifles i believe that's the reason I see what you're I just, saying. Yeah, I think I just like really the quickly, rifles in one because I don't like using anything else. Really quickly, one. one of the changes to this game mm-hmm. is you don't need the training to use the guns. Now, if you mm. have played the original Mass Effect 1, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So in Mass mm-hmm. Effect 1, you had assault rifle, pistol, shotgun, sniper, and shotgun training. Mm. You did not have that training. You could not use the gun. Now, you could take the gun out and try and shoot it, but it was wildly ineffective mm-hmm. take that away in this one and you can just use any gun you just don't have any of the perks from the skill tree from yeah of course things everyone has pistol um only adepts and engineers can use pistols uh, for the skill tree and then i know garris like, has sure. a sniper uh, yeah uh that's infiltrator infiltrator gotcha yeah. infiltrator is like sn- pistol and sniper mm-hmm. Bagard, pistol <laughs> shotgun and then Sentinels, soldiers, everything. Um, I lost my point. Oh, uh, that we you we can use all the uh, hey, yeah. I, I always we're, pick soldiers. We were talking about the training. Yeah, thank you, soldier. You asked me my class. Going from the soul survivor thing. Um, you we went to usually you pick that stuff. Let's skip all mm-hmm. that. Eden Prime. Did you save Jenkins? Were you able to save him? No. No, you weren't able to save Jenkins. I didn't, uh, to be honest, <laughs> I never you. knew, I mean, um, I was about to say, I never knew you could. Someone sh- uh, someone showed the Google search, how to save Jenkins, really? uh, was Googled when the game came out. Interesting. Because people don't know he can, you can't save him, he, but yeah, people wanted to see him. if they could. Hilarious. Um, yeah. uh, Alex, I want to get right into it. Romances. Mm. Who's your romance? So, here's the thing. I've always romanced Ashley. Okay. But for some reason, with this playthrough, I do not like her. Mm. I think maybe I was a little kid, and man, okay. I, you know, I thought she was hot. She was the only female human. And also, she was a human, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? Uh, I'll do it. And But after a while, I was like, <laughs> literally, I was playing through this whole whole game, and I was like, Shut the fuck up, Ashley. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm. Uh, my, it's funny how similar mine is too. I use when I started the game. I, I didn't even know you could romance other people, so I just assume mm-hmm. Ashley's the romance, 
Um, and that's how it is. Yeah. I didn't even know big... you could f- technically not romance her. I was like, mm-hmm. how yeah, because I always thought know? like you know, oh, you know, Shepard, yeah, is gonna be with this one. Yeah, I, I didn't think that you can go with any other, you know, species. Yeah, but uh, with this playthrough, I picked old girl Liara. Mm-hmm. Same here. I, Liara's best girl to me. She is always mm-hmm. my canon. And I rarely strive for her just because she's so nice. And I think mm-hmm. I do think she is given the most care when compared yes. to everyone else. Not only because she can be she is in one and three, mm-hmm. but she has I feel like the most dialogue. She has the most. Yeah, I feel like we get interactions. I feel like we get more backstory from her. That too, we get more that story. Or, I feel like it's just like anytime you try to talk to Ashley, it's just. Uh, it's very it's very weird like either she'll start being she, very uh aggressive with things she's and, then very she tries to, and then she tries to flirt with you yeah it's and it i'm is like strange. what weren't you just it's like strange. talking I th- mess i think she was kind of poorly written if we're like getting into the nuts and bolts of the game like she is a little poorly written if you're going mm-hmm. i love the intricities of she is a space racist whatever you want to call it. she <laughs> she likes humans she does not like aliens she is a mistrust mm-hmm. And it comes from her long line of alliance, as if that makes it better. But whatever. It's through her family. Whatever. If you make that case, you have to have some sort of redemption for her. And she never gets it in this game. Yeah. I, I don't care yeah. about two or three. Don't care. We're not talking about two or three. I'm talking about one. Mm. doesn't really get it. So she doesn't come across as d- deeper, attracting. Just, That's me, at least. I do like the uh, specifically the interactions that she tells you the story of her and her sister yes that's really yeah, cool that and i then, did enjoy and then you get deep and she talks about like her god and things like that and mm-hmm. like stuff like that i like when you add a little bit of depth but aside from that like if your depth is as deep as just you have a sister and you like her it's <laughs> not too much for me not too much and and yeah. uh, liara i do feel like is I, if if they had to give someone the canon romance, it'd be Liara, which is interesting because you would assume it'd be Ashley, but I don't think. Yeah. Novaria is our first stop on this journey. Now, if I'm I'm skipping that middle part because Alex, there are hmm. technically ways to not get Rex, not get Garrus. We're skipping on. We got all of them. We're, there's no point in talking about choices there. There, there aren't really choices. Mm-hmm. I would say until we get outside of the Citadel. Yeah, and then we get outside the Eden Prime. So, all that stuff really quickly summarized. I, I enjoy the Eden Prime. I think it's, it can be a tiny bit slow, but it picks up as soon as you see Sovereign, and then it doesn't stop. And then you see Saren kill N- Nihilus. That has a whole mystery. Like, whoa, why did this guy kill him? Mm-hmm. Why does he look like half robot? <laughs> like, what's going on? I wish we teams? got a little bit more of Nihilus. Me too. But he's gone could, like, a little too quick. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's because it, it's crazy because they kill him off as fast as they did Jenkins. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, it's not... just like the two. Like when I first played this game, I'm like, did they just kill two main characters? Yeah, I mean, you do assume like, oh, <clears> this <throat> is my crew people. I'm going mm-hmm. to know them, and they just get yanked. And it does mm-hmm. it does add kind of stakes. Like it does kind of feel real, you know. Like like yeah. oh, You're there's like, a Whoa. death, and yeah. that is like permanent now. That's it's like Game of Thrones. You like this guy? Dead, dead, dead. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoy Eden Prime. I like how jarring. I I I remember like it was yesterday when I first see husks and how mm-hmm. they're made. A bro just getting impaled through the chest. Oh, yeah. And now it's a husk. Like, oh, my God. First off, I don't understand how it works. I don't care. It's still cool. And you have these husks running at you. Uh, out of all, though, Eden Prime, I enjoy it quite a bit. Citadel, I don't have too much to say. It's pretty straightforward. Any, oh, yeah. any thoughts Citadel's, on Eden, Eden Prime, like Citadel, beginning part? Um, I like the Citadel. Eden Prime's fine. Um, I think I've played Eden Prime's just so many times. <laughs> Like I feel the that. beginning part. I'm just I like, ah, all right, continue. It is kind of the because we're trying to get through all this because we want to be specters mm-hmm. and we want to go stop there. So like, we're trying to get through that as feel, fast as possible. And it's it's weird because you can feel that Eden Prime is like the tutorial level. Oh yeah, it definitely feels that way. All mm-hmm. right, now click this over there and have this guy. Say, and again, this is a 2007 game. I feel like it holds for up sure. pretty well. No, yeah. The for only sure thing that makes it really obvious is there's the cover is terrible in this game. 
<laughs> I don't know why they didn't just have you hit a button to oh, go to cover. No, yeah, it's. Ugh. And you can tell, like, in the in the original game, you could tell, like, this is definitely a PC game. Like when you kind of feel <laughs> it around, like you can definitely tell it's a PC game because even how the ability wheel was, it's mm-hmm. a little better in this one, but it's still. It's it's you still kind of feel it, but I think this is by far the best way to play the game, which is good. Yeah, and it looks amazing. First off, we haven't even talked about that. The game looks incredible. Oh, for a dude. 2007 remake, I oh, it looks great. I don't remember if we talked about this in the previous, but I was actually telling you, Alex, I was actually worried that this game was not going to look as good as I was hoping. Mm-hmm. I don't know. This this isn't anything crazy. They remade some assets. They probably polished some stuff up. Mm-hmm. They redid some sort of uh, some environment, so it's not like crazy, but you could tell like a little bit of detail was given to everything, and it looks a lot better. Yeah, every time I saw the trailers and then the comparison and like the back to back, they kept always they always kept showing the Mako or Eden Prime, or I think it was Eden Prime, and I'm like, it's like certain and parts look worse to me. Well, but they I, also I did a weird great, thing of great. starting on the new one and then going to the original. Mm-hmm. I have well, no idea why you would do that. It's usually the other way. That makes no sense to me. I don't know why you would start on the new one and then show you the worst one. You want to show the worst one and then go to the new one. So I really don't understand why they did that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, besides the point, game looks great. Feels great. Mm-hmm. I mean, I played so many times the first game. Mm-hmm. I started dreading it a little because the combat is just not amazing. This one feels yeah way better the guns sound way better yeah for sure way better i don't know if you you guys know but if you want to hear what the original assault rifle sounded like oh look it up on youtube it sounds gross (laughs) it It does not sound satisfying this one this one feels like a little thump like you got that shotgun thing it doesn't sound like you're just kind of shooting this non recoily like weapon actually cared and put individual sounds for per bullet like that like it's not a, just a stream of just blur. Yeah, it's... just... All right. That's all I have to say about <clears throat> Citadel. Uh, we meet our boy Garrus, of course. Amazing. Love mm. love the introduction to him. He's, he's <laughs> like space cop kind of vibe. Love it. Mm. Uh, first thing, of course, we go to Liarja Sony. Get her. Now, I don't know if you know this, Alex. I did, my first playthrough, I did not know I would get Liarja Sony as a person mm-hmm. so that was the last thing i did oh wow that was the last thing i did so i went and picked up liara you wait that long she's mm-hmm. very delusional because she's been in a thing for like weeks on end oh really yeah she's yeah she's delusional she thinks you're not real she's like oh, wow. you're not real you're not really there just like please go away so i can go back to and like, just, like leave me alone and you're like, I'm going to try and save you. <laughs> and you just kind of walk away. But yeah, if you wait long enough, there's like segments. There's uh, one mission after, two missions, and then after Vermeer. After mm-hmm. Vermeer, she's like barely there. And like just assuming you're like ghosts. And like, I I don't care. Yeah. And what's funny is I was like, is this the person? And, and then I got her as a companion. And I was like, oh my God. And you have to like, what's hilarious is once you get her onto the Normandy, you like have to clue her in on everything. Like, hey, um, so like this, we went to Pharos, we went to Novaria. This thing happened. Oh, we killed your mom, by the way. Uh, and like, like stuff like like you fill her in on the whole game. It's it's kind of hilarious, but it's super messed up because you like left this poor lady there. Yeah. Uh, going. Let's go to Novaria because no real options. I mean, we meet the love of our lives, Liar. Mm-hmm. But we go to Novaria. I don't love the beginning parts of Novaria. It's very fetch questy. Go here, go do this. Yeah. Go there, go there. Come back here, talk to me. Go to this thing. Talk to this person. Go back. Do this. It's like okay, this. Is- yeah, Novaria is that one place with the when you first get to do the Domeko, correct? With all the turrets outside. That and is the- no. That is Liara. That, that is-, is on Ther- Ethereum. Theorem. Okay. No. Yeah. Sorry. I'm thinking. Now, uh, now you get the Mako at, in the middle because remember you have to you have I'm to thinking. drive to the place. So there are yeah, turns yeah. there. Maybe that's what you're okay. thinking of. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. 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 No. Where is the that we? Yeah. I got you. I remember exactly. Exo, where it is. Uh, yeah. 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 It's yeah. it's it's, it's, it's with like the 
yeah, it has like one little bar area. Yeah, it's like got the, like this yeah. weird business kind of no limits thing going on. So if you want yeah, if you yeah, everything is gray, that's true. For whatever reason, everything's the same mm-hmm. color. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, I, I you did you go through the regular route of getting the garage pass, talking to um Yashini Nonsalani, and then uh framing uh Analeas. So I did all of that, but I, I like this work, this playthrough. I pretty, I made sure I did everything. Okay, so yeah, so, so you, I did all you, the side quests. Yeah. I talked to the talked to Oh, you, yeah, you talked to the Hanar. Yeah, I'll see the smuggle. Something. Mm-hmm. I think I smuggled something and was like, "Give me money." I don't remember. What, <laughs> I think I smuggled it. He, I think he sold doesn't it he him. give you a discount or something like if you do it for him. I think I so. He remember. gives you credits, and then I think you can have a Paragon option of getting a discount. Hmm. Gotcha. For like yeah, an extra thing dude i've been playing mass effects so much that like that it's that's blurring. so far yeah it's blurry now blurring all together mm-hmm. i'm uh, almost done with three but let's get let's get <clears> to <throat> uh the actual part where i want to talk about with Novariat. did you of course we fight major Benezia. Mm. i brought liara along because i love the dialogue between them it's like them yeah. fighting and stuff it's oh god so good uh and then you just merc Benezia. like she like tries to fight you and you just destroy her oh yeah for sure Rack Night Queen. Mm-hmm. Kill? Let go. I let her go. I also let her go. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a kind of unique situation. Me and Alex have played this game for, so we know what happens in the third game if we let her go. So we know it's beneficial. So it's, you know, it's a little cheating for us, but... but The first time uh, that I ever played it, I actually still let her go. I did, too. I just, I kind of felt bad for her that she I was felt bad too. caged up anyways. She, well, she talked me into it. I mean, I'll be honest. Yeah. I was going to oh, kill yeah. her. And then she yeah, was like, yeah, she started talking to me. You know, we we didn't do that. Like, she was very clear, like, hey, I wasn't behind that. I don't know why they fought him. And they brought up oily shadows, which is mm. awesome because we don't understand that until the third game. Because uh, oily shadows means they were indoctrinated. And they, like, yeah. give you hints that they were indoctrinated and they don't know what that even is. They know that there's a sour song that tells them and they know that their ancestors not, like weren't there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I believe you. I don't know why. You're a creepy thing animating a dead corpse of a person I just killed. But you know what? Good enough for me. <laughs> and I hit the button, let her go. <laughs> uh, is that your thought process? What do, what do you think of that choice? No, yeah. I I definitely like didn't know what she was. I kind of, At first, I was like, oh, God, what is this thing? I was like, do I need to kill it? And like she started talking to me because she took over that Osari. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, okay, I need to definitely kill this thing. And then it started <laughs> talking to me. And then, and then it started talking to me. And it's like, oh, you know, uh, we have the song or whatever. Yeah. And it, and then I was she like, she talks about how talking is so terrible. Like, mm-hmm. I hate, I don't like how you communicate. Yeah. Your songs are dull. Like, she's mm-hmm. like, I don't and know I why like, you talk These this people way. have depth. This and awesome. I want, and I was like, if I save them, they could, I can possibly get more things for them later. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'm gonna save her. Hopefully, it doesn't bite me in the butt. It does, but doesn't. I mean, and that's no, yeah, for yeah. another game. I loved it. I love. I love talking to her. She's so interesting. Some for mm-hmm. some reason, I'm super into the Rakdai. I think it's because it's this hive, and they're not hive mind, but they have they they have this hive mind complex where like yeah. they communicate. And what's funny is they're intelligent enough to make spaceships which i don't i think people i think people you know don't really pick up on but like they can make ships like they're smart enough to understand how to build a spaceship with yeah i mean they have so they can make yeah it's a bunch of stuff very impressive and i'm i i love i i love anything with rackman um Mm -hmm. and you kill a lot of them in this game (laughs) a lot of them we're gonna have a side quest part Right before we do a finished game, okay, Alex. So we'll get mm-hmm. we'll get into that other, but we kill a lot in this game. Yes, um, we do. From Novaria, you go to the good old boy Pharos. Alex, mm. Pharos, uh, start to finish. What do you think of Pharos? Now, of course, as a reminder for the audience, Pharos, you go, you start off in that little colony place. They're like, "Hey, help us! We're both we're hungry." We're thirsty. We need electricity. So, like, please. Oh, and also, there's Geth close to us. Can you like go deal with all of that? 
And you can either do the side quest to help out the colonist, which may help mm. you in another game. And, is this and, the one? Pharaohs is the one with the Thorians, right? Yeah, the thing going. Yeah. Rrr! Yeah. <laughs> Tentacle I, I, mouth. I, I, I shot the out of them. Yeah, yeah, I'm not not a big fan of the Thorian, but mm. skipping ahead. Uh, you helped everyone. Yes, I did too. I I yes. like I kind of like it. I don't know why, but I like spending time with them and like trying to get them back online before I go and kill the main death threat. In, the one in the thing I couldn't find is like that the, that one dude in the computer. He was like, "Oh yeah, go to if you can find my yeah. drive or something." I could not can find, I find that it? thing. I'll tell no. you right now where it is. I literally know. I know this. I must way have too missed well. it. So you know where the first. Uh, large uh, doorway is where it's blocked by a geth shield and you have to go to your left to the left yeah yeah so if you go to your left you go you turn off the shield come back it's open yeah. if you go to your right there's a little entryway right there you go to your right you fight a krogan okay and i think two krogans and maybe some geth i don't remember but i think you fight a krogan and right when you kill him right behind him that's his terminal you take the drives I don't, yeah, I never went to the right. E easy, easy, easy miss. Because it doesn't even, it kind of doesn't look like there's a doorway there. So I mm -hmm. completely understand. I think I, yeah. I think the only reason I found it my first playthrough was I turn, I like, I thought I was supposed to go that way. I think I just hit a right angle and I was like, oh, I think I go this way. I and think I, I missed it because I like had like when I was playing this area. Yeah. Like, this area seems kind of dark. I definitely. So, like, I had to like see post the brightness just a little bit, the HDR mm -hmm. brightness. So I, yeah. after that part, I had clear. Maybe I didn't see it. I was fine with it, but I do see where people would say that's dark because it is a little mm -hmm. dark. Because there and, was a point in one of everything's the caves, brown. Just, I could not see anything, dude. So like I had to fix up my uh, my HDR thing because I, I don't think I I either accidentally hit something wrong, but it was just super dark. Yeah, yeah. And then we find the exogeny scientists. They tell us mm -hmm. like, yeah, there's this thing. You gotta don't touch it though. They're trying mm -hmm. not to tell you what it is. Yeah. And you go find out there's this whole thing that's taking control of the colonists. Then you have to go back and, like, save them. Did Were you able to save them all? You kill them. Oh, no, yeah. I was able to save them. You saved them I all? Literally, so what I did was, because um, it says you got to save all 16 colonists. And they, they're like, do not shoot every. Uh, you got to watch what you're shooting. Yeah. I didn't shoot anybody. I meleeed so I can get that achievement for the mm -hmm. 100 melees. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? There's 16 people. I just started going. Meleeing people. <laughs> Yeah, you're and meleeing then, the creeper, mm -hmm. or you're meleeing the colonists. I meleeed everybody. So you meleeed the colonists, and it doesn't I'm, count as killing them. Nope. Because you're I just not. You're that. just knocking. I dude, I thought I didn't know either. I literally did a meleeed the Thorians, and then I saw the colonists. I was like, let me try this, and because I, I load, if not, I'll load the save. Yeah. I hit them. I looked at the counter. It still says sixteen. I'm like, all right. I'm like. Start wow. killing everybody, guys. Achievers, I've played this game probably, I mean, at least ten times. Mm -hmm. I have never thought to go hit them. <laughs> I've literally never. I literally, I never all of them. melee in Mass Effect One. So never. how did you? How did you make them stop shooting you? You get the gas from uh, the extra. That's scientists. right, the grenade gas. Yeah. The reason I started meleeing too is because I ran out of gas. No, I I get it. You have to be very precise. Well, I Sometimes use them all when you throw the grenades accidentally. Well, <laughs> that's like. Sometimes when you throw the gas, though, maybe some achiever Does knows this too. Well, sometimes you throw it, it doesn't always get them. No, I don't know doesn't. if it's a bug or what, but I have thrown at their legs and detonated it. And sometimes they don't fall down. They look at so, it I'm like, eh. well, th what was that? <laughs> I'm going to kill you. What? Um, then we get the, I, I don't know. I don't know if this bothers you. It bothers me. Mm -hmm. We get the really weird thing in the game where the guy kills himself in front of you. And we do nothing oh, to stop yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So what's like, up? Why? Like there wasn't That's any a weird paragon choice. or renegade. He was just like, "I'm gonna do I'm, it. I'm not gonna fight I'm you, like, Shepard." And I'm, I'm like, like, "Why don't you just take the gun from him?" We're N seven Specter level army. We can shoot the gun out of his hand. That's what why I was don't thinking. we do that? Why like, are we just I like, like? I was like, "Fuck his hand! Just shoot his the gun." Oh God! He shot himself. All right, let's go figure out this Thorian thing. Like we were like so casual about it's it. Like, I was I like, like, I feel like Shepard do something. Does not give up about these people. He was just like, all right, yep, but whatever. I, I'm I'm really busy, bro. Like, can you like can you speed, speed this along? Up. Like, yourself, come on. You're like, <laughs> either shoot at me and I'll just straight up mow you down, or you do it yourself. But but I always thought that was even as a kid, I was like, I just saved all those colonists with grenades. 
Mm-hmm. Why did I not save this guy? Whatever. Not important. Like, why, it just as a kid. I don't know why he just didn't me. have a cinematic of him throwing a grenade near him and he's like, clarity. I just shoot like, his hand. I would do. Shoot the hell of his hand. Um, I don't know. We kill the Thorian. You get the cipher thing. Mm-hmm. You know, really good. I, I, uh, start to finish. I love Pharaohs because I love the feeling of like you feel like you get to do so much. You get the 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 cool side quest with helping the people. Then mm-hmm. you go and you find uh, the <laughs> the mechanical door. Did you like that kind of mini game? Where you uh, have to mess with the PSI. Oh, yeah, 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 I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah I kind of like that, because you get that scene where, like, you just... And then the thing just... And falls all the way down, and I'm like, ah, oh, that's really satisfying. Yeah. I, I just... I don't know why. I'm a sucker for that part. hmm And then you get the Thorian, which lasts a little too long. A little, little too bit. long of a best fight, yeah. and it's kind of easy. So, I don't know. Either make it a tiny bit harder, or yeah, it's like put a little they, less notes, because mm-hmm. it was not fun after a while. No, it's like come on now. Yeah, Hurry up. yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we're done with Pharaohs, Alex. Going straight over, and there wasn't really um, we're speed running this. Yeah, we are speed running, but there wasn't really a choice in this, really. Not really. I mean, the biggest choice you had really was talking down the Exogeny, uh, Gion. Mm-hmm. Um, did, were you able to talk him out of uh trying to fight you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You were. So yeah. I think I did this too quickly. <laughs> uh, r- r- rookie mistake by me I did not have enough Paragon for this part this is the only Ooh. missed Paragon part I had and you know what happens hmm. he goes we're not going to let you do this like I- I'm not going to let you like like go and fight the Thorian mm. and you shoot the shit at it like there's oh no fight Look, Shepard just goes bam <laughs> right in his face and he just falls and he's dead and the Jesus. person and elizabeth goes oh my god there's so much death and i'm like i just blew this dude's brains out in front of all these innocent people and no one's reacting to it it was kind of hilarious <laughs> i've i don't think i've ever i think i've done that one time before like when i was a kid but i did not remember that's what happened you see this dude in the background thank god he's dead yeah <laughs> you're like all right cool i'm not fighting these people <laughs> like because it's funny is the security guards are like <laughs> no, I we're not doing that. He was stupid. We're with you though. We're not fighting. Yeah. But but that was that was actually my only missed paragon, and I've never missed that mm. before. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't don't know why I missed it. I yeah. My I have a big pet peeve, and I always like making sure I have enough paragon. It, I did play this a little looser than I usually do. Usually, mm. paragon choices throughout the game yeah. to make sure I maximize paragon score. I did where applicable. I did sometimes do renegade. I did because because yeah. I feel like some parts in the game it doesn't. I don't love paragon statements sometimes. Mm. Sometimes it's a little too soft for what the situation is, and yeah. I'm like, in this situation, I don't think anyone would be like, "Hey, let's like be kosher." Like like I'd be like, I feel like I'd be kind of upset. So let's like mm-hmm. kind of in like invent some stuff, Alex. Okay. Hmm. moving on pharaoh's finished had a good time with it we get another thing with liara going embrace eternity and then it goes in your mind going through all that really quickly x57 hmm. the meteor remember that Mm-hmm. first off pretty good dlc very quick which i kind of yeah, like yeah. yeah, kind of like very though. quick it doesn't yeah. overstay it's welcome i like it i like the whole Batarians are trying to destroy this whole thing. We didn't get Batarians. This is actually, uh, they added this DLC in the first game. You did not know what Batarians were before this. So this was an introduction of a new species, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. Where Did you uh, defuse the bomb or did you kill the terrorist? So remember it ends with, hey, I have a bomb in that room and they're mm-hmm. all going to die. You can either go defuse the bomb and let me go mm-hmm. or you can kill me and let the bomb explode. What you gonna do? Oh god, I don't remember. I think I defused the bomb. So you let him go. Because he gives you a choice like you're gonna let the hostages die or you're gonna take me you're gonna fight me right now. Oh yeah, I think yeah, no. I think I I didn't I don't think I I don't I didn't fight him. Yeah, you it's pretty clear when you fight. So you, you probably didn't. Yeah, I, no, I didn't did. Fight him. So I let the hostages die. Mmm. Fucking renegade. Hey man. You kill the one to save the many, right? There's three people in that building. That dude's definitely going to go and kill three more people. So, you know, 
I guess so. But I straight up murdered that dude. Murder. He's actually interesting. He, he was harder than I thought, but I still brains out. Uh, they keep to their promise. Those people blow up. <laughs> so they're all dead. And the guy comes and he's like, oh my god, they're dead. And I'm like, yeah, it's sucky choice, but I had to kill the terrorist, bro. And I, I thought the same way. I was like, I think my shepherd in this scenario would go, I can't let you go. Hey, we don't negotiate mm. with terrorists, Alex. Unless, I guess, I guess you do. But not me. <laughs> I was like, I can't let you go. So I have to kill you. And they blew I mean, up. Yeah. I mean, they're all dead anyway. Spoilers. I mean, I guess kind of i don't know what's funny is we don't know but i don't know not important vermeyer yeah. hmm. the probably the most pivotal point of the game is this singular mission there's the most most choice i think throughout the entirety of mass effect almost this is the most important mission almost of all the game hmm. for two reasons obviously one there is a scenario where rex will die if you do not do specific things you can either one talk him out of the confrontation. Mm. You have to have at least eight charm points. So you have to have basically max oh, charm mine points. Mine was maxed. Oh, I was maxed. I was ready to do this. Or two, oh, yeah. which is what we did, Alex. You get him his family armor. You go, yes. you find his family armor, you bring it back to him. He's like, hey, man, I got your armor. Or you bring him with him. And he gets his armor. He puts it on. He's like, hey, Shepard, I appreciate that. I actually, for the first time ever, did this early accidentally. And found the armor without him there. And I was like, I've never done this without him here. I fly back. I give it to him. I was like, hey, this is yours. And he goes, oh, I really appreciate it. And the same stuff happens. I was like, oh, thank God. I thought it wouldn't count it because I because mm. I didn't have the actual mission. Like, I just did yeah. it. But it but it still counted. It, it, if you get him his family armor, you don't have a Paragon check to have to make. So uh. it's, just, it's just free. Like, you, do, you don't have to make a blue talk. Like, you just talk mm -hmm. to him normally. And he'll he won't you won't have to kill him unless you want to yeah. for some reason. Yeah, it took me forever to find it. Like I was like, oh my god, I need to go look for this thing. Yep. Like I went through every planet and then I finally found it. I'm like, oh thank god, because I thought I was I thought yeah, I was I thought I was gonna have to kill Rex. Yeah, no, I, we 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 got our boy through it. We got our boy through. Mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Um, Caden or Ashley? Hmm, I killed Caden. I killed Ashley. Mm -hmm. again another canon playthrough thing for me is i kill ashley and i and i talk shit about ashley but i have more background of her than i do with kaden what do you mean we know kaden went to school <laughs> that's about as much as you get and that's it it's about as much as you get a kaden he tells you about this one time he went to school to train he had a mean teacher he ends up <laughs> killing the teacher which is like I'm surprised All you right. didn't get repercussions, but okay. And he talked about having a crush on a lady. And that's kind of it. You don't really get too much out of Caden. You get to talk to him like three or four times throughout the game. He's like probably every, the every least time. interesting squad mate in Mass Effect <clears throat> 1 next to Ashley. Every time, oh, excuse me, every time oh, I try to speak to him, I don't know what's up with me tonight. Every time I try to speak to him on the ship, I feel like the school thing always popped up. It is. It was That's annoying. all he has. I'm serious. I've talked to him so many times about the game. Like, because I didn't every believe. Every time it. I talk to Ashley, it was like one time she will talk about her sister. Yep. Then another time she'll be talking the like, alliance she stuff. Did the alliance stuff. Her then poetry love, should, which I love. That I I love when thing. you get the poetry stuff. Like I like that. Mm -hmm. and, and then she's, she's like trying to flirt with you, and then she's like. I fucking hate Turians. And it's like, bro, like, the, he, Garrus is right there behind us. He's like 20 feet away. Like, he hears yeah. this conversation. Garrus is like looking at it. And he's like, oh my God, I don't like this chick. He's like, oh, fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Did she just make fun of my, 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 my face thing? <laughs> I can't I control this. Uh, but, but for real though, like, I, I, I originally always killed Caden. Mm hmm. Because I always romanced Ashley, and when I even when I didn't, I I kind of yeah. him. And recently, I'm like, eh, let's. I like Caden more, but they both suck. <laughs> I'll say that again. I like Caden more, but they still both suck. Neither yeah. one are good. My dislike for Ashley doesn't make Caden interesting. I kind of dislike them both. Those two mm -hmm. characters are probably the most boring in the entire franchise. Now, mm. disagree, comment below, or tweet at us. I'm very curious what the achievers think of this game. Also very curious what you think of squad mates. But for me, yeah. my squad 
My squad, Liara Garris. Garris. Alex? Yep. Liara Garris? Mm -hmm. What was it before? Because you used before, to have Ashley, so was it, it always to, Ashley and Garris? It used to be Ashley and Garris or Ashley and Rex. Ashley Rex. Sounds like a dope-ass squad. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, you, you like go and get shit done. Like with mm -hmm. Ashley and Garris. Now, you have the Saren conversation on Vermeer. Mm -hmm. This is actually very important because you have to succeed this in order to get the Saren uh, conversation finished in the end of the game. End of the game, yeah. And you were able to do this? Were you, were, did you pass the blue Paragon check with... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, were? Yeah. Okay, same here. Yeah. I got the charm check. So you you essentially tell him, like, hey, you're indoctrinated. Like, you, bro, you're... You're fucked up. You're not. You're not thinking straight. Yeah. And he goes. Yep. He goes. Eh, no. no. Now I'm curious like, what you dude, think you're about being this. Being controlled. Nah. I'm curious what you think about this. Do you see where he's coming from at all? In <sighs> Saren's whole point is they killed the Protheans without hesitation. Mm -hmm. We don't have a chance. So if we work with them, maybe we'll live. Do you sympathize at all, or are you like, I, fuck I can you? See, I can see it, but that just makes him a coward. Oh, interesting. Okay, I respect that. Because uh, it, like, cause I it can does. See, I can see why he did it, but that's just, it, it's because he's being a coward. Yeah, he's he like, does I not, don't want to fight. He only, he only thought of himself. He doesn't want to die, so he's like, I'm going to go to the winning team. Mm -hmm. Bye. That's true. That is true. I never thought about that way. That's actually true. Yeah, he definitely goes... Shepard, you're not winning. He doesn't even disagree that Shepard's in the right. Really, like, he doesn't I, really. How much you want to? How much you want to bet? If he, if um, if oh. he would have killed Sovereign before, um, uh, before Sarah, Saren, I bet you Saren would have turned around. Saren I think he was like, heavily indoctrinated by the time we meet him, so I don't <laughs> think there's any saving him. But um, well, I feel like there there could have been some type of outcome if we or or if there was some type of thing that were like if we destroyed like like it, like just something to do like where they I feel like something could have changed and be like I don't know like he'd be like at a at, at a conflict. I I but, mean I I kind of like it because you you kind of break him down throughout the game. He's like ah, he kind of makes sense, and that's mm -hmm. what sets him up for the end game where it's like hey man. And then this in isn't his mind, you just the right choice. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, with Sauron, yeah, I, I, I don't see where he's coming from. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the line specifically, so I'm going to butcher it a little bit, but he's like, ra I'd rather enslavement than annihilation. I think mm -hmm. it's like, or, or it's like enslavement or, um, uh, extinction, I think. And, and I'm like, I see it, but, bro, come on. <laughs> do you really think they're they're like driving with us like yeah we'll we'll we we'll won't kill you no come on bro this <laughs> no. look at that thing it looks like a giant octopus monster you think that thing has like any care in the world for you probably not uh and you actually have to have max uh no you don't you only need nine so you need nine for that and then you'll need to full 12 when you um when you have the full like resist thing uh, to to get him to kill himself. Oh yeah, yeah. At the end, yeah, you have to, you know. I, yep. Alex, you passed it uh, with flying yes, colors. Yes, I yes, did too. I got him to shoot I himself, got him which to shoot I kind himself. of felt bad, but like he mean a. And he went out the way he wanted to. I respect like, it. And I was if you... hoping like he was just like snap out of it, and then he would have helped to fight Sovereign, and maybe he would have sacrificed himself to beat Sovereign. Mm -hmm. I feel like I like I would have liked that a little bit better instead of just straight up killing himself. I respect it. It's a little more of a happy ending, but I like it because it's it's stakes. Like, there's stakes. Yeah. Like, he yeah. was too far gone. He even admits that he let him implant something in him. He admits that. It's like, bro, w w what? You let Why? him do... He even says he knows he's in, being indoctrinated and he's fighting it. And I'm like, and then you let him put something inside you? That makes no sense, bro. <laughs> Did you save the Destiny Ascension? What what is it? What is it again? It's the Destiny Ascension. That's that's where the council is. Did you save them? Oh yes, I did. You did. I did too. Now, did you do this knowing what happens in the third game, or did you do this because like I you honestly, wanted to do it? I wanted to do it because I honestly don't remember what happened too. in the third game. I did too. I uh, I so you can either save the Destiny Ascension or you can tell them to focus on Sovereign. I will mm -hmm. very quickly 
This is slight, very slight spoilers for Mass Effect 2. Skip about 30 seconds ahead. If you focus on Sovereign, you the Destiny Ascension dies, all council members die. The uh, alliance is much stronger in the game, uh, in the next game. And that influences narrative things. If you save them, the council lives, you get some sort of outcome in the next game, and in the next game after that. I don't want to get too spoilery, just in case this is your only, your only on one, but... Mm. Those are the two differences. Alex, mm -hmm. we're near the end of the game, but right before I ask you who you picked as the human counselor, I want to ask you, what's your favorite side quest? Now, I mm. love side quests in Mass Effect 1. There, there's a lot of them that I love. A lot of them that I'm like, eh, this could have been an email, but I really liked specifically most to do with um, Admiral Kahook. I, I think with that specific side quest, mm -hmm. When he tells you, like, hey, my men are missing, you go find him. You're like, hey, man, they died from a Threshamal thing. Sorry, sorry. And he's like, that's weird. Why would they go do that? And he goes and looks in and finds this side thing called Cerberus. And, you know, maybe they'll p play a part in the next game or something. He finds this subgroup of Cerberus, these pro-human terrorist group that, like, does terrible things. And he thinks he has some lead, so he's going to download you something. He's like, hey, man, I might not be alive. So he comes to these coordinates and, and like, and he basically tells you, like, fuck them up. Like, go come <laughs> here and kill everyone. <laughs> and you do, and you find him dead in uh, in one of the bases. But you do clear out the Cerberus people uh, and kind of avenge him. What is what's one of your favorite side quests? Hmm. I'm trying to think because there is I think I'm getting too mixed up. I know, yeah. And if, yeah. So, but so far, I mean I th I do like the X fifty seven one. That one is kind of cool because you're like, you know, you're making sure that this this asteroid is not hitting the Doesn't this kill planet. Terra Nova. Oh, Terra Nova. Yeah. 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 But no, so I mean, but uh, it's hard to remember because there's so much. There's a lot. When I when you go through the Mako and I you, when you go through every planet, I'm like, oh, there's a lot. Um, my favorite, and I'm not going to spoil this, just in mm -hmm. case someone did one and two, mm -hmm. is the moon mission. And I'm not going to say why. I will tell mm -hmm. you in the next episode. I will not say why. But the moon mission, mm -hmm. do you remember? remind me <laughs> the moon mission you have to go to earth's moon oh got it got it got it yep you yep, got yep, okay yep. yeah i'm sure you know yep. what why i like that yep yep and i'll yep. tell you guys in mass effect 2 spoiler cast but that is probably one of my favorite because of a very specific thing in the next game yep Spoil it here who did you pick for your counselor anderson i also picked him specifically because first off udina Mm -hmm. literally looks like an oily fish so i'm not i'm not i'm oh, not saying an dude, oily did, fish is why, the counselor of humans why did they have him so silvery yeah he looks kind of gross doesn't he second i i i really drive with the line that shepherd says he's like he's not a he's not a politician like why would you and i was like that's the point because he's not Mm -hmm. like i want to i want the guy that doesn't want the job to do it <laughs> you know what i mean like i want anderson to do it because he doesn't want to do it like that's kind of the point um but but yeah that was that was my my whole thing there uh i think uh alex i think that's about it for the first game what is uh what is something oh uh another uh side quest i loved of course was the, the you get kind of loyalty missions to this game no, yeah, that's which, a, which plays a much bigger teams. part in two, but we'll stick with one here. Of course, Tally, Garrus, and Rex both have loyalty missions. We already talked about Rex's, but I loved Garrus's. I love his Doctor Sloan thing, and Tally's is probably my favorite because you get to go to all those systems, kill all the Geth, and you mm. get to let her copy the data, and that and that affects the next game too, which is really cool. That's one of my favorites. Um, and I'm just quickly scrolling through like some major plot points, but I don't think any of this is super crazy. Uh, another another shout a shout out to Conrad Werner. Gotta love him. Oh, you have God. to love right. Conrad Werner. He is oh, one of the silliest mofo's out there, and I love this, that guy. This dude is. Oof. I love him. <laughs> He's he is a weirdo, mm -hmm. and he is like your number one fan. And you know what? 
I'll take it. Because I love his storyline throughout the games. Love it. One of my favorites in like a trilogy. Mm -hmm. It's so silly. I don't remember. I don't think we said it, but there's a one side mission. I remember the name of it. I just forget, but it's like a creepy one. It's called Colony of the Dead. It it was on Pharaohs. And it was, um, let's see, because I I, I find a little bit of a thing. It's 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 all it's like a creepy horror themed assignment. Uh, the character with a good, I, you just have to make sure uh, you just have to make sure you have somebody with good decryption to hack a server node. Um, trying to see, I'm trying to, it's not letting me, it's not saying so like so for no spoilers, but it's a spoiler because I just can't remember which one it was. Yeah, see. go ahead and spoil it. Is this for the first game, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the first game spoil away. I just didn't want to spoil like the next game just in case uh, there's an achiever listening that's only gone through the first one. Let's see. Uh, yeah. While on Pharaohs, you find a personal log of the exogeny employee. The doctor note seems to be expressed some concern of samples that provided to a group he referred to only Cerberus. So this is the yep. Cerberus one. Yep. Yep. Which one is which one is that one though? Is that the one where you go and you find like there's a bunch of creepers? Uh, the picture is used to serve the Geth dropship's claw. Person like will point you to Cheska. I think that's the one where you go and everyone's like taking over, like they're all they're creepers, all... and then you find extrogeny yeah. scientists hiding, and they're like, "Thank God you're here," and they like yes. pretend like yes. they're nothing yes, to do it with it, and you're like, "Yep, uh, yeah, yeah we've been standing. to Pharos." <laughs> yeah, everybody's every, every just standing around, and we're like, "Uh, what's going? On? What's happening?" Yeah, what's hilarious is you, you're like, you're under arrest, and they're like, "No," and they try to fight you, and mm-hmm. you murk these people it's hilarious mm. they they literally like they're like all right we're not going anywhere and you literally turn them into dust with your with your video with your guns like they, they're like zero match for like n7 people and, he, and even the little dialogue box that comes up is like yeah yeah they they definitely shouldn't have fought you <laughs> they're like super dead yeah um alex that's 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 mass effect one in a nutshell what what, what you had to summarize the whole game. What do you think? It is. I mean, it's, I, it's, I mean, it's, it's great. Perfection, right? It's one of those incredible games. Now, I'm even more excited to talk about two with you. Because mm-hmm. two is when it really starts shining. But one it will always have a special place in my heart. Because this is what started it. You know, this is like what began two and three for me. And I cannot wait to keep going. And, you, and, you, uh, and, and we will see you there. Alex. Yes. Thank you so much for talking Mass Effect One with me. This was so much fun. I can't. I can't. Again, I cannot wait to talk. Oh yeah, two. I feel like like once I played one, I was like, I can I can see what what he likes in it. What's he like? And then I then I started two, and I'm like, okay, I like two. The action. Like it's it's like two and the three. Action. I have a really spot in my heart. That I'm like, who does it take? Which one does it take it for the win? Like it's really hard. God, I love it. Now. What did you think of Mass Effect 1? What were your choices? What were your favorite side quests? What are some favorite decisions you made? And what was some logic behind them? Comments down below. Give us your thoughts, questions, or ideas. You can tweet at us, Patreon. You can use the DMing service if you support us over on Last Achievers. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, share with a friend. Until the Mass Effect 2 spoiler cast. Remember, touch you.